Okay, I'm going to show you how to create an animation, a stop motion animation using Google Drive. Okay, um, when first thing you're going to do is open up a Google Slides presentation, a blank one. This is what we have right here on the screen. All right, and then the next thing you're going to do, you don't need any of these themes, so you click that closed, and then. Um, you don't need a really a title page for this because your title is going to be part of your animation. So what you can do uh, is go over here and either click it with two fingers on your mouse pad or right click it with your mouse or push the control, hold down the control button and click it. And then this option pops up and you're going to say you're going to delete this one. We don't need that one. And then up here by the plus button, where it says new slide, you pull it down and you click blank. You want a blank slide. All right, so now we need a background. Okay, so you click on background and you click on choose image. And then you're going to probably have to search for one. So you click on search. And let's say we wanted this to take place in an alley. So just search for alley. And then you find one that you like and you click it and then click select and then click done and so now your slides right now will all have this alley background okay all right the next thing we're going to do uh, let's say we want to have a person uh, because this is going to be an animation all right so if you want to put a person in there uh, you're going to search for a picture of a person now when you're searching for pictures we're going to search for png files so it'll just be the outline of, of whatever we're putting in. So let me show you how to do that. You click on image and then pull it down and click search the web. And then let's say I want, let's say I want a boy. So I search for boy PNG, all right? And then, oh, there's all kind of here that we can use. Okay, let's just say we'll go pick this guy. So you grab him and drag him over here and then It'll create the image of him. And then you can resize him all you want. Oops, I drug him off. If you want to, you click right there and you can resize him. So let's make him about that big. Okay, and we'll start him over here because he's going, he's walking to the right. All right, so I'm going to start him in the corner. All right, now we don't need the pictures anymore. We can close them. Now let's say we want to show him walking across the screen. Okay, well to do that, we're going to have to have different slides with him walking across the screen and we're going to move him each time so what you do go over here on your left side and right click or control click and click a duplicate slide now you've made a, an exact copy of the one that you had at the beginning but since we want him to be moving we're going to move him over a little bit and then we're going to do the same thing again we're going to right click or control click and click duplicate slide and then this time we're going to move him a little bit more. And then we're going to right click, duplicate slide, and move him a little bit more. Okay? Now what is this going to look like when we animate it? Okay? So to see what everything looks like, click back on slide one and click the present button. And then look, you can just click the right arrow to click through. And if you click through it, click, 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 you see he looks like he's moving. So that if you, if you played it fast, uh, it would go, it would look like he was moving. So all you have to do is, or you can use the forward arrow key, click, click, click. There he goes. All right. So you're animating. That's easy. All right. Click the exit button and come back to here. All right. Now let's say he moved a few steps and you want him to say something. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the last slide. So we click duplicate slide. And if we want him to say something, we need a little bubble for talk for words. So um, go up here to this little box that says shapes, click it, and then the bubbles for words are called call outs. You see these right here? These are call outs. There's all there are different kinds of ones you can pick. I'm going to pick an oval one. All right, and then you get this little plus sign on your cursor. So then you draw it where you want it. You click down and drag to draw your call out. Okay, there it is. And so. Um, you can also drag the little pointer down to his mouth, and then you click on it, and you can type in what you want him to say. So we're making videos 
about Newton's laws or animations about Newton's laws. So let's say, hey, I'm going to show you Newton's of inertia. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so after you add your uh, call out or text bubble, um, if you just leave it in there for one slide, as people are clicking through it or as the animation is playing, it's going to just flash up and then be gone in like a second. So um, before you go on to the next slide or whatever else you want to do, you need to duplicate that slide like three or four times. So just go over there and right click or control click and click duplicate slide and then do that again duplicate slide. So now I have four of those. So if it's playing for one slide every second, that means that little bubble will stay up there for four seconds before it's gone. So then you can, in the last slide, you can delete the bubble. And then let's duplicate it again. And then we're going to move him a little more. Let's just say he's walking a little further. Okay. Now let's say he's going to kick a soccer ball. So let's duplicate the slide again, but this time we need a soccer ball. So we got to search for an image of a soccer ball. So pull down the image, search the web. And instead of a boy, this time we want soccer ball. We want PNG. Okay. There's a soccer ball. We pick one we want. Ooh, let's get that one. So we drag it over here. It will create the image. Okay, that soccer ball is way too big. Make it small enough for him to kick. And then, so let's put it down here by his foot. Okay. So now it's going to look like he's kicking the soccer ball. So let's duplicate that slide. Now, we don't have another picture of him swinging his leg, but we can animate that kind of like a... Um, kind of like a uh, comic book by putting a little call out down here to say what is happening to it. So we can do shape, call outs. Ooh, look at that one. Let's do that one. Explosion one. Let's put it right here. We can put that there. We can move it a little bit more. And we can click on it and then we can click type pow. Kicked it. Okay. So that's the kick. And then we're going to duplicate the slide. But this time he already kicked it. So we're going to take away the pal. Oops. Click on it on the edge and then delete it. But then since he kicked it, the soccer ball is going to be moving away, right? So we're going to move it up a little bit. And then we're going to duplicate the slide again. And we're going to move it up again. And we're going to duplicate the slide. And we're going to move it up again so it looks like it's flying away. Okay. Now let's put, let's go all the way back to the first slide and then let's see what this looks like when we, pre when we present it. Okay, we're going to present it. We're going to right click. I mean, we're, we're going to click on the right arrow key to see what happens. Okay, I'm going to show you Newton's law of inertia. There's a soccer ball, pow, and it goes flying away. Of course, after he kicks the ball, he would have to explain what Newton's law of inertia is. Okay, so let's go back. So we click exit to go back and then let's duplicate the slide and then we can delete the soccer ball and let's put another call out for him to say what's going on. So you can make it really big because he's got a lot to say about this. So he goes something like me kicking the soccer ball is showing because he was at rest till I put in. Okay. All right. So this uh, 
bubble for what the person is seeing is even longer than the one before so we may need to leave it up even longer so let's say let's leave this text bubble up for like six or seven seconds so we're going to make at least probably five or six copies of this so click on it right click or control click duplicate slide duplicate slide duplicate slide duplicate slide duplicate slide how many do i have one two three four five six let's do one more duplicate slide okay so here we go now we're going to take a look at our at our uh, stop motion animation so we're going to go all the way back to the front and then we're going to click present and now we're just going to click through it so we're going to use the right arrow so here's our guy he's walking Hey, I'm going to show you Newton's Law of Inertia, and I'm still clicking, and nothing's happening because we left that bubble there for several seconds. So we're going to click. He's going to kick the soccer ball. Pow. There it goes flying away. And then it's going to be there for several seconds also. Me kick, clicking, kicking the soccer ball is showing Newton's Law of Inertia because the ball was at rest until I put an unbalanced force on it. Okay. That's it. Okay. So now we can exit out of that. Okay. Um, the other thing we can do is we can export it. Uh, we can we can share it on the web, and then we can make it automatically move forward. Okay. So to do that, you go to File. You're going to publish to the web. Okay. And then we're going to auto advance the slides every second. Okay. And we're going to start the slideshow as soon as the player loads. And that's it. You're going to hit publish. It's already published. And then you can copy this link. And then you can share this link with people, and people will be able to see your, uh, your video. That's it.